appellate court. All right, that's a set. That's right below the Supreme Court. Right, and they were taking a look at Biden's plan to make all the private employers force their people to get the shots. Right, and I got. I got. I want to make sure I get the quote right. But the judges came back and said that Biden's 400 plus page plan of an OSHA regulation to force people to get this shot, which after claiming for almost a year that there's no way the federal government could do this. Anyway, the court said it was staggeringly overbroad. <laughs> staggeringly overbroad, right? And they said the mandate fails almost completely to address or even respond to much of reality and common sense. <laughs> It's not a choice. It's a choice. Can't, no, it's not. I get to you choose what goes in my body. On the left hand side of the road. So I get to choose you what goes into my body. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Nothing else to say? I knew. I knew they were coming for the rest of us. That's right. Stand for what you believe in. At 21, I went into the healthcare field. Fresh out of school and served 15 years doing CAT scans. We went through the swine flu, all the big, big time flu seasons. The you need to rewear your mask, and if you get COVID, you're going to drop dead. And then we found out the truth about COVID, and for some reason, all my coworkers never woke up. And I'm like, wait, why am I in the twilight zone right now? So came along the necessity for vaccination, and everybody was like, well, you got to get it now. But that's the problem. So many people think when somebody dictates something to you and says something to you, you just got to do it. No. No. And I said, no. 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 And everyone's like, yeah, you say no now, but wait until they come for your job. And I said, they can have it. And I never thought there would be a day that I would be standing in front of a garbage truck on Staten Island, blocking it with a flag that I am now producing, and having uh, uh, the, 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 what, the SRG team of the police, or whatever it's called, the strategic response group, zip tie me up like I was Christmas lights, and put me in the back of a paddy wagon. And you know what? Every one of them said, thank you for doing this. <laughs> and I keep saying that. These cops across the street eventually are gonna be like, I am not taking another booster. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. You're this an is, asshole. This is, this is, <laughs> You're an asshole. I'm a senior. I'm a senior. I want to talk I, I, to you. I don't know what that means. You need to be unified. You know, our Why veterans, okay. you're not. Okay. There are people up here. We're not. I'm, a, I'm not a white supremacist. Okay? I'm not a white supremacist. I don't even. Why are you talking about white supremacists? You need to be united. We are united. This is an event. I've gone to events that I can You need to be united, okay? Who's not united? The veterans did not swear an oath to our Constitution to fight for your freedom to be here, that we're separate. I witnessed Dr. Fauci killing all the gay men in the village with AZT testing, some monkey brought the disease, whatever, with false positives, false negatives, same thing that's been happening with the, with the COVID virus which is not really a virus, it's a hoax, it's a pandemic. I think the mayor is an idiot, and I think that she's got horns that are hidden in her head, and I think there's a lot of satanic elements to all the people here who are, I don't know, hiding, hiding judges, lawyers, everybody in our politics who have been involved in child trafficking, uh, underground in tunnels all over the globe, okay? Okay. You go way back. I way mean, back. I'm fine. Yes, I don't Wait, really get a fuck. I just wish they would just shut okay. up yeah. about it. It's important to be here because we are against the vaccines, we're against the mask mandates, and we have a tyrannical government wanting to put a foreign experimental mRNA vaccine into your body. They want you to lose your job and become an outcast of society. They want to segregate the society. That's bullshit. We are Americans. We stand for freedom. Facts. That is completely against what we stand for. Yeah, that's a fact. We are real human beings. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Do 
not get the vaccine, especially if you're a kid, because first of all, you're healthy enough, you don't need it. Your immune system is so much more healthy. The study even came out, they said if you naturally get COVID, it's much stronger than if you get the vaccine. So you're much stronger there. Additionally, a ton of kids have been getting heart attacks. Look it up, it's been happening everywhere. So why would you risk that? You're a kid, God made your immune system to protect against diseases, you're gonna be fine. I had COVID, it's nothing. You get over it in a week. So don't get it. Trust in God. Yo, the one and only Nicholas J. Fuentes, shout outs to him, that's the only shout out I'll give. America first, baby, for life. Let's fucking go! Let's go! Let's go! All right, all right. Yeah, it was a good event. I mean, those pussies over there didn't want us, but we just did our own thing. Just fuck them. They're putting forward a bill where they want to mandate the vax for kindergarten through 12th graders right. and just force it on children. And that's fucked up. We don't know the long-term effects, and now we're going to test it on children. And we know there was uh, like accidental vaccines of uh, kids that were trying to get the flu shot, and they had bad reactions. And we know it's not very healthy. It's very experimental. It changes the DNA in your body, and that's permanent. That doesn't go away. It's just going to turn out like it is in Australia, where they have like QR codes you have to scan in everywhere you go, and they're you know you have to answer a text message within 15 minutes at random. In the of the day, and if you don't do that, the police show up to your house. If you get the vaccine, you're just a faggot. <laughs> no masks, no vax, <laughs> fuck them, <laughs> and the mandate. So now I'm on my way to Gracie Mansion. Because a mandate affects their little white privilege. Okay. Guess what? You can't do what you want to do no more. So now you want to come outside and protest? Yeah. Okay. But see, you fucked it up coming against us. Where's the last time you I'm touched Where's the last time? Yeah. Don't touch me. Yeah. 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 not a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, who the fuck are you? Yo, 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 yo,
take our shit and y'all put it on the news and y'all paint your own narrative and make us look crazy and just okay. mm -hmm. just go by and chop it up to make it look like no, I don't. What, what, what news uh, media do you, uh, do you work for? I'm yeah, independent I and I haven't even uh, started posting anything yet but I'm interested in hearing what people have, have to say You was in that bar You was in that bar Yes, she was. Oh, you no. was on the other side of recording us. Because Do I, not I act don't stupid. Know. Yes, yes, yes.